The Giants prepare to return the kickoff. And here's Harris. Just across the 20 and tackled at the 21. The Giants back out there on offense. Their last drive, they had fourth down on their own side of midfield. They decided to go for it. Instead of punting the football away, we both were wondering why. Oh, man, some people just never learn. They keep going for it on fourth down when they're their own territory that always backfires. And what do you expect? Well, I know what you can expect, another loss. You just got to be smart with your decision-making when you're managing a football game. Two tight ends on the field here. Jennings got it on the handoff. Jennings tackled right at the 42. Jennings a great buddy back to have on your football team, isn't he? He goes up in there and gets the first down. Now your offense has three more chances. First and ten. They want to keep feeding him the football. And Pace is able to read that play and make the hit. The Giants offensive coordinator, he has to be frustrated by that play. I think he calls the right play, but what happens is the run loses yards. That's just a bad job at the offensive line. Second and 13. And getting back to this matchup, if you win it, if you win it, how much does it mean to you right there in the New York area? You get to walk around a whole year, and no matter what happens, it's like Alabama and Auburn forget the year. Who wins that game? And I don't know if it's that strong, but it's pretty close. You want the pride of being the best team in New York. Still powering ahead. Just into the second quarter, and the pressure now on the defense to get the ball back. Yes, you'd like for the defense to get off the field, not give up any points. But so far, the offense, man, they have been absolutely awful. They got to get their act together over there on the sideline. Manning's going to take it from the gun. Launches it down the field. He brings it in. The Giants know that a fourth down conversion like that could be a momentum changer. Oh, sure it can. It gives everybody confidence. You get to call at least three more plays, you hope. And anytime you stay on the field longer in the NFL, the odds go up tremendously that you're going to get a score. Nice risk reward play that time on the offensive side. If I'm on the defense and the offense is this close to scoring, I'll tell you what I'm doing. I am sending everybody. I am going to gamble that it is a run. If they have the courage to throw it, let them. If they do, of course, it'll be a touchdown. Runs it in for the touchdown. Bill, we're a quarter and a half into this game, and suddenly we're right back to where we started. The game is tied. Yeah, it's tied, Jim. Both offenses, I think, are playing pretty well. you got to give a lot of credit to the offensive lines. They are dominating the pace of play, and that's why we have a tie score. And the catch by Shane Vereen. They failed to convert on the two-point try, so they'll just have to settle for the six. He's got a chance to return this one. And he's taken down right at about the 29, not quite to the 30. The Jets right now are on a big-time run. They scored, their defense came up with the play, and how about the way these two units are coming together, giving them all kinds of momentum. Everything is working well right now for the football team. Jim, it's like you. When you're playing golf, after you've made five birdies in a row, you just feel it, you're confident, you go out there, you're expecting to make that six birdie. That's the way this football team is right now. First down at the 43. Looking long. Very nearly intercepted. What a good job by the defensive back that time. That ball was thrown beautifully down the field. High arcing throw, but the defensive back in great position knocks it down. Two-minute warning looms, and this may be the last play before it hits. Ryan Fitzpatrick throws the deep pass, and it's batted down. Halftime is coming up, but first we reach the two-minute warning. Following that incompletion, it sets up third and ten. Amaro's a tight end, but lined up in the backfield for this play. He's hit as he throws it. The Jets don't have a lot of options on third and long situations. The pass goes incomplete. 
and the defense did a good job of staying back there and not giving up the deep throw. The Jets are going to call on the punting team. And it's a fake. They're running a fake. Running room. And he's tackled down at the 36-yard line. Well, I love seeing plays like this, a fake punt. When you throw the football and it doesn't work, hey, it's easy to do these things in practice. But when you got to do it in the game, you can feel the pressure. You get tight. And sometimes you just cannot execute the play. Failing to complete that one. So second down here. They bring in the extra tight end. Got drilled as he throws it. Well, doesn't get much worse than this, does it? You're losing the football game. Now you're looking at third and long. And look, there are no miracles in the NFL. I'll tell you that. So be smart. If the play is not there, don't force it. Dump it off and wait for the next time you get it. Set up screen to Vereen. And he's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. Nearing halftime, and a major area of focus at the break is going to be trying to figure out how to move the football in the second half. They've struggled putting anything together. All the pressure on their D to stay in the game. Well, the defense has kept them in this game. Uh, that, that's what I like, and that's all you can do. Sometimes in this NFL, it's tough. Offenses are going to struggle. The defense, you got to pick it up. He's taken down at the 47. The Jets might have been caught off guard there on that fourth down play. Well, why? Why would you be caught off guard in a situation like this? You always have to be ready on the defensive side. That time they were nowhere to go as this will be a loss of three. The Giants signal for the time. And that's the first one they've used. Manning's going to take the snap from the shotgun. What a hit, and the ball falls incomplete. Sometimes on third and long from the defensive side, I like the fact that you can blitz. Send more guys than they can block. Make the quarterback throw the football quickly and short. Then it's all up. They're coming up and making the tackle. That's a stop by the defense that will give them one last chance to do something here offensively before the intermission, Phil. Yeah, they got to feel good about their football team right now. They got it rolling their way. Defense, another good job by them. Now can the offense be smart, be calculating, and find a way to score? Manning going to try to scramble now. And it's picked off by Cromartie. And that pick all but guarantees they will go into the intermission with the lead. Oh, absolutely. It's been a good first half. And let's see if they can just make it a great first half on the offensive side by taking advantage of that interception and going down and scoring. The Giants lined up in the nickel. There is a flag out. The defense will take the penalty. So many times when you drop a football in the NFL, a pass like that, it's because of lack of concentration. You're just not serious about what you're doing. Amaro's playing out of position in the backfield here. Second and long. Could have been intercepted. There are a lot of ways to attack cover, too. You can go deep down the middle where neither the safeties are, or if a linebacker covers somebody deep down the middle, then throw it short underneath the defense. Third down. Have to be very careful here. Third and forever. He rips it right out of the wide receiver's hands. Jim, in a situation like this, you just want to control the tempo of the game. You got to lead. It's close. You want to stay on the field and give your defense a rest. It doesn't work. Three plays it out. Defense has got to come back out here and see if they can get it done. 